All right, so we're selling nearly all the cars. All the cars except for one car. The Scion getting sold. We need an automatic version of that. that's a manual. Our E39, we'll fill it, flip around and show you there. E39, we've just put a fuel pump in it. Fuel pump is bad and sitting. We need to order some tires for it. We need to fix the seat twist and that thing is out of here. Are we gonna sell it to somebody we know? I don't think so. Probably looking for around, probably around 27, three, somewhere in there for that car. 150,000 miles, 2003, 528i, 525i, 525i, my bad. Uh, pretty good shape, had everything done to it. Control arms, etc. all the cool and stuff, everything like that. Um, the G-Wagon, we're still putting stuff on it, doing this and that. This is the most hated car on my channel by an extreme amount. If I post a video on this, there's one thing for sure. Nobody's gonna watch that video, period. It's kind of a shame, really. Um, there's a lot of money. I bought this car for a really good price before the market went up. There's a lot of profit to be had in this. I'm not in a hurry to sell it, uh, but I am a little bit hesitant on the market crashing and then not being worth as much, if that makes any sense. So for the right price, it is for sale. We're probably looking at, I would say the bottom on that be around 95,000 for that car. Um, the Cayman, the Cayman is the only car we have no desire to sell at this point, none at all. Uh, it's a really well-built car, really nice. It does need struts pretty soon. They are leaking down a little bit, uh, but it's not bad. Our 325 XI, we have the interior out of it right now. Uh, but this is only a car we bought only to fix and sell and needs an engine. Here's Phillips car. We're going to sell it when he's not looking, profit all the money. And then we have the Sequoia, which is Sequoia right now, this very minute, we have no plans to sell this. Maybe you never know. I'd like to get something for a tow vehicle with a lot less miles on it. That's like 240 or so thousand miles on it. And then her other car back there is a parts car that is getting one way or another the hell out of here. So let's go back in the shop and we'll show you what's in there. And we have the M3. The M3, as you know, is for sale. We need to refresh the ad on it, actually. Um, the M3 market seems like it's very high. A lot of people asking the moon for these cars. When you actually list one, the market's not there. So we find that's the problem with a lot of stuff lately. Um, it depends on where you live or what it is or a certain color combo. We have a pretty good color combo on most of the stuff we have for sale, but maybe not a lot of interest, only for next to nothing. Uh, so if you are interested in the M3, it is for sale. We're asking 13, but we're probably pretty negotiable on the price at this point because it seems like the market's probably more like 10, uh, if even. So there is that. This car is kind of in the way right now. You can see it's on the coaster so we could pull it around. But as we're trying to pull other stuff in here and do other stuff, it's right in the way 100% of the time. The 1600, at that point, we're just not going to do anything with that car. There's no reason. I mean, I don't have any desire anymore to do anything with it. Um, and it's sitting there, it's taking out space. Or we're going to do a big, massive, giant build and spend thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on it. Not really. Because the problem with that is... <clears throat> What we're asking for it now isn't really that much. You know, we had 20 on it. If somebody came with me with 15, I would take it. And we can't sell it at that. And so if I put 10 more thousand dollars in it, it doesn't really make it worth more for me. And I'm going to have to ask way more for it. It's going to be impossible to sell at that point in time. Uh, so there is that. The Porsche over here, you can see it's currently behind our ladder operation. It's currently holding a headliner for E46 temporarily. And uh, the engine's sitting over on the engine stand. Um, so that car was bought to buy and sell. It never was bought or bought to do uh, anything other than that with. But I was kind of thinking if we sell a few other things, it might keep that Porsche for a little while. It does pique my interest a little more than some of the other cars around here. But in the very bottom line, we are selling a lot of stuff so we can go buy other stuff, right? We had the same stuff for a long time. I'm tired of, I'm bored of a lot of things we have. Uh, we sold the M5 a while back, all that kind of thing. So there is that. Um, 
you know, are we quitting YouTube? Well, of course not quitting YouTube. That'd be foolish. That'd be stupid. Uh, but definitely got you to watch this video. So now you understand we're not quitting YouTube. And now you understand that we are selling nearly all the cars. Um, so if you're interested in one of the cars, shoot me an email, put an email link in the description for that. That's going to be it. We're waiting on Porsche parts. It should be here. Some came in today. It should be here tomorrow or the next day. We'll have Porsche videos on the Porsche channel coming up. BMW channel. We'll put some videos this week on it. Um, but let me know what you want to see. That'll be it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.